way to food at the moment. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Before we go to zoo. We're gonna go brunch first, and then. Because the zoo's at three at three o'clock. We got a bit of time to kill. Hey guys, we just uh, we had some time to kill, so we went to shop around. Really nice area, to be honest. I feel like it's better than Fountain Gate. Yeah, obviously. Aesthetically wise, it's better than Fountain Gate, and the food court there is way better. They have like they've got two food courts, and they're both really fancy. And we got this. Um, it's all fillers out there, if you know. You know, <laughs> it's um potato corner, and we got like the curly fries with um chili barbecue. Like I asked for extra flavorings, so it tastes like home kind of style. So now we're on our way to the zoo. Sure. So uh, we just got to the zoo, where we zoo. Just parked our car, now we're going to the entrance. It's uh, really hot today, so we brought out water. Um, Don't the, forget your water, guys! Got the bucket hat <laughs> going as well. So they said there's no safari tour today, which is that bit there. Yeah. But they said these other sections are available. So let's go see some. Where are we now? Do you want to just go around? Yeah. Around where, where? that way. So there's snakes. <laughs> <laughs> let's go see some snakes, yeah? You don't have the penny. Souvenir thingy? Yeah. Let's what is check it? Check it out. <laughs> I want to get there. You got a meerkat. Oh yeah, I'm surprised you made that animal. <laughs> Bruh. Nice. The entrance was like right there. <sighs> We've literally walked 20 meters, and I'm already under the shade, taking a break. It's actually really hot today. It's not the greatest idea to come to a zoo. Australian Trail. <clears throat> I bet we'll find all sorts of uh, kangaroos and weird kids. You better be not snakes now. Snakes? There is snakes. And we found the greatest fears. Snakes is over there. So we're walking towards this way. Oh. So snakes is over there. I'm so safe. We're going to see some kangaroos. Even though I can see some impacting them on the way to work, but let's see some at the zoo. Oh, there. It's just a little kangaroo. So, I just double checked. That was actually a wallaby, so I look like an idiot right now. <coughs> Pretty sure some people heard me as well. Easy. I'm talking about oh, Indian. What? It's moving like a dragon! Here we are. You can see some ducks. You know, they're a bit rare. Ducks over there that Jackie's scared of as well. They're a bit rare in the southeast Melbourne, so it's pretty cool coming here and see some ducks. Why are you recording? <laughs> <laughs> Gonna go see some dinosaurs right now. So we really haven't seen anything yet. It's been uh, like half an hour. We've seen one one wallaby, one duck. 
Holy crap. Dude, what if it runs out on us? It's actually coming closer and closer. I think so. That's why they're harmless. They do not look harmless. Alright, if it attacks me, it's gonna attack the camera first. Yes. So apparently, I have no idea what this is. It's a dinosaur, so I'm taking it to work for it and I'm expecting a T-Rex right here. Oh, sorry. Okay. So we got scared over that. <laughs> we got scared from this thing. <laughs> hey, imagine night at the museum happens and this thing comes alive, babe. Huh? It said volunteers needed. No, thank you. And of course, the T Rex gets all the attention. Look at his arms. <laughs> Look how small his arms are. This guy cannot play any hand sports. Like, imagine him playing basketball. The whole gang. I don't know why they're there, but... Hey, you guys see that? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't use their hands, but... That's cool. Yeah, they do. So she, if she's itchy on the other side, she might... Be... There we go. You see, she's showing you. 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 So I came to this top bit. Trying to see some wild dogs, but nothing here. So we came here to see a cheetah, but there's nothing but a camel. Hey guys, um, I'm not sure if it's money worth right now. We're supposed to see like. We haven't seen, I haven't seen anything yet. The wild dogs are sleeping, and the, wild, and the lions are apparently hiding somewhere at the moment. Said some of the workers. There's a chance that something comes out. So. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. I'm tired. It's more of a cheese workout. It's a good break right now. Just to sit down. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we're just inside. Taking a break from outside right now. I didn't see anything happen. Literally seen nothing. So hopefully we can. Have a rest now and then go back out there later when it's cool and see hopefully there's something else there. I'm that we can get this close to it. What the heck? So it's still so damn hot, but it's a bit shady here now, so. Yeah, so we haven't found anything, so. I have a feeling we're not gonna see the gorilla. Yeah, there's a gorilla. What does that do? I thought it actually pressed something. Uh, nothing up here. I have a feeling we're not gonna see any gorillas, any lions, any um. Why is where's everyone going? Damn, they finally came out after like an hour. They're just uh, sun baking. They're just chilling. They're actually just sleeping, I think. Nah, sun baking. And their eyes are closed. Damn, they're very lazy, huh? They actually look like they're dead. It looks so like, like sleepy. Is it only like four of them? Huh? I don't know. I want to see it move or do something. Yeah. Damn, they're actually so big and lazy. Oh crap, there's heaps of them. So Ari just left me. She's waiting for the lions to come out, but I win. At least I get to see some wild dogs. Oh, it's walking away. Damn, I've actually never seen these before. They actually do look like hyenas, but apparently they're very different. And the only thing similar about them is that they're both carnivorous. I read from the sign. <coughs> Damn, there's of them. I wonder where they all were before. Oh, damn, the boys. 
Jesus, heaps. There's one, there's five. There's heaps of them. You finally came, huh? Yeah, so tired though. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've attracted them here. Oh, they're already coming there. Look, they're coming down eating something. It's like some bone. Stare at me. I think he wants. Look at his ears though. Do you want meat? Oh, here it comes. Oh, cool. Are there only uh, only females? Or? Yeah, we all just have females. Oh, so yeah. Two mums at the moment, but they might come out in the second. Whoa! For the lines, doesn't matter which way we call them. If we call them into the house or out here, we always use the bell because mm -hmm. that literally uh, tells them, like, come over here, you get a reward. So, but it's still their choice, so there's no pressure behind it, they know just what that signal means, but it's still their choice to yep. act on it, literally. So we never go inside and say, like, come on, and we close any slides or anything. They were all half asleep <laughs> out the back in the yards. And yeah, so they said, okay, it's worth coming out. If I know I get one piece of meat or ten, we don't know, but it's worth coming out. So they can make that decision. And all our other our training with those guys, guys is all are voluntary, so it's all their choice. When we train with them, they can leave the training session at any time. And they also tell us if we underpay them, for example. So uh, if we have milk, which they do love, but it's not as high value as meat. So if I would uh, ask, uh, especially now Ribi here, who loves her meat, to do some training, like as in mouth open or stand up or anything like that, she would just look at me like, uh, not <laughs> worth it, give me the milk for free kind of thing. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Just finished the zoo. Bugs, when nearly in, in my Look what I got for her. She wanted a sloth plushie. And um, it rep some... represent me. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty good, I guess. Oh, yeah. Um, at first there was no animals coming out, but then we sat at like a cafe for like an hour. You know, freshen oh, ourselves up, and then came back out. And literally all of them Luckily came out. We actually stay because yeah. we wouldn't see the wild dogs and the lions. I think the lions were the probably the most uh, like well timed because we we just sat there and then we were, we were pretty much leaving and then this lady came out or oh, walked towards us and she said, "Oh, wait ten minutes and the people would feed the lions." So yeah, and we, yeah, went back and then they came out. So well, that was cool. Sort of lions, sort of wild dogs, the hippos. Didn't see any giraffes or anything because the safari was closed. Probably gonna eat dinner. Yeah, head back. It's, just, it's gonna be like a long drive as well. Yeah. It's gonna be a long drive. Peace out! So, just finished eating. At um, a Filipino restaurant at Werby. At oh, Mama, Mama Law. Yep. It's pretty good. As you know, it was very good. I yep. don't know why there's, there's not as many Filipino restaurants in Melbourne as. Know, as it should be, but I feel like, yeah, it's really good food. What did you like? The sisik is my favorite. Yeah. But all three things were good. You tell them what we got. What do we get? The sisik. <coughs> um, grilled. Some grilled, char grilled squid that's yeah, like that stuffed squid. with like capsicum, uh, onion, and avocado. And the chun for Wiley. It's like almost like
the boys who were chilling on the front line. Put a bean, I'm on cloud nine. Shorty, come over here. Where's the feline?